Hello everyone, this is Rich Hay from the Super Cypher Windows. I'm here with a demo video for you, do a little hands-on. We're going to check into the Photos app. The Photos app has recently had some updates, which you may have heard about, adding some features that are related to Story Remix, specifically a collection of 3D effects that you can add to your own videos and creations of your own. So you might remember over the last few weeks, the Photos app went through a series where it tried a couple different names and things of that nature, where they changed it to Story Remix for a while and then back to Photos. And it's currently resting on the name Photos, which makes sense. And let me show you what they changed that allows you to have the Story Remix features as part of the Photos app, but yet not take over the Photos app. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up this uh, the Photos app. Now, I, I'm here to show you off the 3D effects. So what I've purposely done is I've removed my OneDrive sync. I've removed all my extra folders, and I, I've stuck this one 30-second video I took of my cat checking out our uh, robot vacuum cleaner. Um, and I, so I've made it the only source, so it makes it a little easier to find things. And what I'll do here is show you how you can add 3D effects to your um, to your videos. So what I want to point out about the Photos app is you'll notice here some of the builds that are out there have this create button highlighted. And then over here, all of them, instead of this used to be albums, but now it's labeled creations, which I think is terrific because creations can fit video and it can fit photo, photos and it can fit both combined together, which is what this feature allows you to do. So, so I could click on create and I could do a video project. I can create on creations here and I get the full screen interface to either create a video or create an album. And for this project, we're gonna do a video. All right, so I'm gonna click on create video and the first thing it offers you is your resources. So wherever you have photos and videos stored at, if you've got them designated for folders that the app knows about, you'll find things there. To add something to your collection or to what you're gonna create, you simply click on that upper right-hand corner and then you'll see that the add button has been lit up. So now when I click add, it's actually going to start my open up the video interface. So here's the video interface. There's my resource, right? These are all my source files. So if you have multiple source files here, you'll have multiple things listed. This is your preview uh, area. And then this is where you drag and drop the various videos that you're going to put together in a video. Now, this all works the same. You can do transitions between the different videos that you choose. You can choose how much of those videos you want to play. But for the purposes of this demo for the 3D effects, I'm just going to use the one video. All right. First thing I want to show you is up here. Just click new video and you can name your creation. I'm going to call this Tigger versus D-Bot because that's the name of our robot vacuum. Now, so that's the name. So I am I can click on this media, drag it. I can't drop it anywhere else. It'll automatically go over here because it's the first thing. So you see a couple things happen. Uh, the media now has a little kind of a turned corner that indicates it's in use down here. There's the video itself. There's the preview. And here is the new button you'll start to see that says 3D effects beta. So these are some of those features that are starting to get add, added from Story Remix. We don't have everything. I think with the Fall Creators update, this is kind of where we're going to get. And then they'll keep developing the other features that we saw during the demos that build, such as, uh, and this has some anchoring but you can't do some of the other features. So at this point, I've got my media chosen. So it's down here and I'm ready to go. So I just click on the 3D effects beta button and it will get everything ready for me. So it's processing the video, getting it ready to be in edit mode. And then over here, it is going to show me all of the 3D effects that are available. And, and last, last count was somewhere over 50 that are available. And I'm not... I thought for a minute I wasn't recording. Okay, I'm recording. So while we're just waiting on this to pop up, there it is. All right, so now in the big window, I have a preview of the video. And over here are all of the 3D effects that are available. So there, that is uh, three, six. That's some more there. You can see the different names of them. Laser beam, ray of light, glowing sparkles, glow. There's flies, fireworks, smoke, there's explosions, there's fires, there's butterflies, there's leaves, there's bubbles, there's flames, there's a tornado. So these are the different elements that you can put into the video. So let's start with putting something on top of the D-Bot here that kind of makes it a bit menacing, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to take this neon fear and click on it. And you see what happens, it kind of transitions. So this is here, every, every 3D effect has volume. So if you don't want the volume, you just pull the volume all the way down. 
If you want to anchor this to a specific point in the video, you can do that as well. Now over here in the dim in the video window, I can grab this just like anything and I can maneuver it and put it over top of the D-Bot. I can rotate the effect. I can rotate it front ways and sideways. And I can do it back and forth this way. But I'm going to leave it with all the defaults. I'm going to place it right over top the D-Bot, okay? And I'm going to tell it to anchor it to this point. And it's doing a little work to do that anchoring. And so while it's doing this, what it's basically doing is, is looking at the video and looking at the D-Bot's position and anchoring this effect over top of the D-Bot. And as soon as this is done, what we can do is edit the length of time that this effect is visible in the video. All right, we should be there very shortly. Um, you can add multiple effects to the same video. It allows you to do that. The one thing I would like to see in the editing interface is, to, you know, uh, you can see this kind of in the subdued background, this blue. That is the extent of this effect that we're putting into the video right now. So you can actually slide this to adjust the amount of time that it's visible. So if you don't want it to be with it all the time, you can slide that down. Now, what I found was is the tracking wasn't perfect in this specific video. So I have to choose to just have it as part of the video for a short period of time. It seems to make it more effective. It's sticking with the object that it's tracking, that it's anchored on. All right, so it's almost done. And then what we'll do is we're going to adjust the length of time. So you still see the anchor here now that's now indicated as anchored. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shorten the amount of time that it is part of the, the effect. So you can see where it sticks with it best. All right. So just for, for an example, let's run this through our thing. All right, so you can see the effect was over time. I apologize for the stuttering, but on this laptop, I've also got the recording software running, so it kind of throws it for a loop. Now, this effect is in there. If I want to add another effect, which I do, I hit the plus button, and I come back to all of the, the effects that are available. Now, we're going to, uh, let's see, what can we do? Um, Let's put a tornado over top of the D-Bot here. All right, so we're going to let the video go a little bit further. And right there, as the D-Bot hits that spot, I'm going to pick the tornado effect. All right, and now here's the tornado effect. And you can see it on the screen, right? So you can see it, and I can move it around. Well, I'm going to stick that right there for a minute. I like that spot. And I'm going to tell it to attach. So it's got to go through this process of, of re-examining the video. And I, as I recall, it gets a little bit faster because it's already got the video loaded up into memory for doing this. So it's basically looking at this. And now look down here at the bottom at the subdued level of it. So what I'll do here is I will adjust the length of this effect. The other one's still there. See, there's the neon sphere we added to start with. You don't see it down here on the timeline. You only see the active effect that you are editing. So this is the entire length that the tornado effect is, is visible, but I'm going to shorten that a little bit because it just helps, it helps with the tracking aspect of things. So as soon as this is done, we're going to adjust this down a little bit. So I'm going to bring this up here. All right, and I'm going to bring this down here. And so what we'll do is we'll have the, the effect. So I'm going to go back to the beginning here and play through these two effects that are currently on this video. So as the D-Bot hits the uh, refrigerator area where we anchored that effect at, there it is. All right. So the tornado spins up. And now he goes back after the cat in the corner again. All right. So I want to add another effect here. So I go back to plus, And there is a lightning bolt that can be added. So now, okay, you see the lightning bolt is open. So that is the active effect. And the other two are still there. So this is a, a, a simple click and drag. So I'm going to stick that right on top of the, uh, actually, I'm going to shorten the box a little bit. Make it a little more intense so we can see all of it. We'll put it right there. We're going to tell it to anchor again because that just allows the effect to be um, a little more effective. And you can see it's a lot faster. All right, so now, um, 
I'm going to check this out. See how that works out. You can see the where it's anchored at. So that's the spot in the video that the, the lightning strike will appear. And we have paired that for when the D-Bot will be at that spot. So as we go forward, there you go. So there's a lightning strike right at that moment because we anchored this effect right here in the video itself. So let's roll it forward a little bit more. Again, I apologize for the stutter, but we'll see the video clean here in a minute. Now the D-Bot gets stuck in a corner and Tigger goes, checks it out a little bit more. And then we're gonna stop right here. And I'm gonna add another effect. So let's see what else can we add that's a bit menacing to the, uh, let's see, snowflake sparkles, no. Uh, party lasers, let's stick some party lasers on there, okay? Wow, those are big. So you can adjust the size of these by adjusting the corners, drag and drop. I'm gonna put it right here so that it matches up, anchors at the point in the video when the D-Bot is right there, and I'm gonna tell it to anchor. And so it's running through that process right now. I, I really hope, I get, I've given the feedback that I think the editing timeline needs to be a little clearer as to, you know, show me where all the effects are so I can hover over them and adjust them and things like that. I think that will clean up the editing process a little bit. But uh, it's still not bad. This is the first beta. This is going to continue to receive feedback. You can do feedback in the Feedback Hub on it on Windows 10 and continue to give feedback to the team about this app. And what's great is it's a part of the app which means it can be shipped separate from the OS. Okay, so let's see what we've got here so far. So let's go a little bit back in the video and let's give it a play. And that has faded out. Now here's I, I gotta say that the tracking is not perfect. Uh, that's why I, you know, I tried to attach something to this thing to track through the whole video and it did not track well. So um, there's the lightning bolt. So now it's going off in the corner. Now we get the party laser starting to fire up. All right, and it's gonna come back around. I'm not seeing the whole video though. So yeah, it's not because of the the stuff. It's not showing me the whole video. So I, there is the uh, the end of the video, and here's where we're gonna give Tigger a little glint. So I'm gonna add another effect, and there is a glint effect. I'll find it here in a minute. There it is. Okay, so I'm gonna click on the glint, and I'm gonna stick the glint right over Tigger's head at this point because he's going to get a chance to kind of look at the look at the thing and send his glint that way. And then shortly after his glint, let me advance this. We'll stop there and we're going to add an explosion. All right, we've got impact with sparks and then there is an explosion up here, I think, right there. So we'll click on exposure explosion and we're going to cover the D-Bot with that. And that's going to be the end of the video. All right. So um, when I'm done with all this, all right, I'm not going to play. I'm going to hit done and it's going to process the video, process the changes, and it's going to put everything together in one single video. And then once this is done, it will give me some options. Uh, you'll be able to share it. You'll be able to save it. Obviously, it'll be saved in your, uh, your OneDrive or whatever designated folder you're using to save things. Um, but, and, and again, I have to apologize about the, the stutter on this machine because I am trying to run the app and the, my Camtasia screen recording software. So it's kind of keeping the system busy. Um, but it does, I've run it on its system by itself on different types of systems and it runs very smooth. Uh, it's fun to kind of experiment with, figure out where you want to stick things and how you want things to work. Um, and just experiment with the process of adding the effects to your video. 
And then, like I said, it's really important. The team behind this is extremely receptive to feedback. They want to hear what works well and what doesn't work well because they want to be able to improve this to make it even better. And then, of course, after the Fall Creators update is released, we'll start to see them work on some of the other features that we saw at Build that aren't yet ready to go into the app itself. So when this gets done, we'll, I will uh, give the video a run through just as a plain video. And then what I'll do as part of this article and posting this video up on Facebook, or I'm sorry, YouTube, is I will also save the video and load it up on YouTube of what we just did with Tigger and the D-Bot and the special 3D effects that are in the video itself. So um, what do you have to have in order to gain access to this? Well, right now I have been able to find this app update on a Creators Update Machines, a Creators Update Machine that is on Release Preview, I found it on a Redstone 3 Fast Ring build on the latest Fast Rings. It's available there. And I also found it on a Redstone 4 Skip Ahead Fast Ring build that came out I whatever when the last date was that it came out. So it's actually available on Creators Update, the test builds for Fall Creators Update, and the test builds for Redstone 4. Redstone 4 is the major feature update that's coming out for Windows 10 next spring. We don't know what it's going to be called yet, but we do know the code name is going to be Redstone 4. So they, it seems to be working across all of the available possi possibilities of Windows 10. So fire up your machine, check for app updates, make sure you've got the latest version of the Photos app. Uh, there may be some A-B testing here. Maybe everybody doesn't have it yet, but you'll be able to, the one way to tell is to start a creation, start an album, or I'm sorry, start a video, and then drag a video down there and see if that 3D effects beta label pops up on the menu. If it does, that means you have that feature flipped on. Okay, so now our video is done. So let me see how it looks if we run it through the smaller window here. And there you go, Tigger wins against the D-Bot. So that's, that's what it takes, there you're done. Now here are the options that are in the menu for you to export or share. You can add music to it, but adding music to it, you know, you have to think about the sound effects that are in there as well, but you can add music. So I'm gonna choose export or share, and what you get is an option for small, medium, or large. Uh, small, obviously quickest, best for email and small screens. Medium, best for sharing online, such as Twitter or Facebook and longest is for the big screens, better quality. So I'm just gonna click a quick M right here and you don't have to do anything. It automatically starts exporting the video and creating it for a share. And as soon as it's ready to share, you can directly share the video via your favorite social media or uh, any any other place that you would like to share it to. You can, the video is being saved on your system. So it's in your uh, collection of videos. So you'll be able to find it there and share it that way as well if you need to physically share it with somebody. All right, there you go. And then it pops up to show you where it saved at. And then it's starting to show you the video as, as we created it. So you can view it in the app. You can view it in File Explorer. So we'll open the folder where it's at. And you can also share it to your social media, email, or another app that you want to share with. All right, so I hope you've uh, gotten a little bit from this video, despite the choppiness um, on the system that shows you the capabilities that this 3D effects have in the video. You can have a lot of fun with it. So grab your cameras, go out there and shoot video and create your own story remix version of a video. Uh, if you do do that, share it on Twitter using the hashtag story remix because the story remix want, team wants to see over there at Microsoft. They want to see what it is you're creating. All right, until next time, stay safe out there. Take care.